Who are you talking to? I'm chatting, Dad. My friend Charlie from California. He's a junior and plays volleyball for his high school. Oh, a junior. Mm. Well, he's obviously a very smart kid. <laughs> LOL. Laugh out loud, right? Nice one, Dad. <laughs> Plums. <laughs> Parent watching over my shoulder. And what is that? Laughing my ass off, me too. Most movies about the internet focus on its dark side, full of hackers, thieves, perverts, and predators. And it would seem that the new film Trust isn't different, since it's about a 14-year-old high school freshman named Annie, played by real-life 14-year-old Liana Liberato, who's groomed, seduced, and raped by a man posing as a teenager named Charlie, who she meets online. But Trust is much more than a cautionary tale, and it's probably the best, most realistic movie about parenting, adolescence, and obsession in the internet age that I've ever seen. And the kicker? It's directed by David Schwimmer. That's right. Ross from Friends made a movie about teen rape. Annie and her two siblings live in a Chicago suburb with their caring, engaged parents, Will and Lynn, played by Oscar nominees Clive Owen and Katherine Keener. But Annie, a happy, well-adjusted volleyball player, has her confidence shaken when she starts high school and quickly learns that popularity means sex and sex appeal, two things she knows nothing about. That's why it's a big deal when Annie meets Charlie in a volleyball chat room, where he gives her volleyball tips and boosts her self-esteem by telling her how beautiful and special she is. Not many films have captured what internet communication is like, particularly in the early stages of a relationship, but Trust does a great job, with the IMs between Annie and Charlie appearing in the corners of the screen. It also shows how smartphones and nonstop texting and IMing have made communication between teenagers and their crushes constant and all-consuming. Charlie eventually admits that he's not in high school, and when he and Annie finally meet face to face, that he's actually in his mid to late 30s. But by this point, he's groomed Annie so thoroughly and knows her insecurities so well that he's able to easily get her back to his hotel room. But for Annie, the real nightmare comes when her relationship with Charlie is exposed and she's pulled out of school, the FBI is called in, and her most intimate secrets are revealed to her parents and strangers, including a therapist played by Oscar nominee Viola Davis and an FBI agent played by Doug Tate. Yet Schwimmer, who's on the board of directors of the Rape Treatment Center in Santa Monica, understands the grooming process and shows why, despite what's happened, Annie defends Charlie, denies she was raped, and thinks their relationship could still work. Yeah, what's the big deal? There are girls at my school who've had sex with half the football team. I lose my virginity and my parents make a federal case out of it. Literally. I think they're more concerned that you may have been in danger more than anything else. Danger. <laughs> That's because they don't know him. You know, the thing is, I bet my dad would really like him. All of this causes a crisis of, well, trust between Annie and her parents, who must confront under the worst circumstances that Annie is growing up and has been living a double life right under their noses. This is especially difficult for Will, who turns to, of course, the internet to exercise his feelings of anger, helplessness, and confusion, becoming obsessed with sex offender websites and fantasies of vigilantism. At the same time, Will is an ad executive working on an American Apparel-type pseudo-porn marketing campaign, making him feel partially responsible for Annie's early sexualization. The acting and trust is fantastic, especially Liberato, who I'm sure you'll be hearing a lot more about in the future. So Haley Steinfeld from True Grit, you better watch your back. My only real complaint about Trust is the cinematography, which looks like it was done by someone a year out of film school. While the ad campaign for Trust focuses on the danger of online predators, the film is really about something more troubling and, refreshingly, more honest. That parents, no matter what they do, can't protect their kids from every danger. And with the ubiquity of the internet and the speed that kids are growing up, the consequences can be much worse. But what Trust recognizes is that while those incidents can be horrible, they're fleeting. And the most important thing is how we support and trust each other for the rest of our lives that follow. So I give Trust an 8.7. It's in limited release, but try to find it. I'm Jonathan Kim for What the Flick.